Before you take that next dip into a lake, we want you to see this next story. Concern is growing over a hidden and deadly danger as more cabin and lake homeowners electrify their docks. Each year, unsuspecting swimmers are killed when power to boat lifts, shore stations, and dock lighting leaks into the water. It takes just a tiny amount to disable, shock, and then drown a child or an adult. As WCCL's Bill Hudson explains, a rural Big Lake neighborhood experienced the tear firsthand. Big Eagle Lake was buzzing with holiday fanfare. It was 4th of July, 2013. Yeah, people are out there at the cabins just, you know, trying to enjoy the weekend, getting ready, set up for fireworks and all that. Swimming, boating, just relaxing in the summer sun. We all of a sudden heard a commotion across the, over at the neighbors there. Yeah, he was such a good guy, so helpful. Their neighbor, Dan Peterson, was going to charge his boat battery. An extension cord led to the charger that he held in his hand. And this was a guy that was pretty handy. He knew, I'm sure he understood just didn't do the right thing at the right time. Peterson lost his footing and fell into knee-deep water. Instantly, his muscles were paralyzed by the electric field of the submerged power cord. Eventually, once you're cramped up, you can't move at all. Chief of Emergency Medicine at HCMC, Dr. Jim Miner, says electrocution causes intense pain, but in a lake, pool, or tub, it's far worse. But if you're in water and you can't move because your muscles are all stiff from a muscle cramp, you're going to sink and you're going to drown. Dan's sister jumped in to help and was shocked as well, but she miraculously survived. You don't think about water and electricity being mm -hmm. all that much of a problem. It's known as electric shock drowning, and it's responsible for hundreds of deaths nationwide. It takes about 10 milliamps to bring on the onset of skeletal muscle paralysis. Words, ESD expert Ed Lethert says what's so frightening is that electricity can leak into the water without you knowing and so slight that it doesn't even trip the typical circuit breaker. If you have circuits running out to your dock they have to be GFCI protected. Those types of breakers are designed to trip by the tiniest electrical fault but even they can fail at times. Experts tell us that whenever there's an electrical circuit reaching down to the waterfront or a dock, you should never assume the water is safe for swimming because the slightest leak of electricity will reach out 150 feet. That's why marinas prohibit swimming. By the time a leak is detected, it could be deadly, and why many are choosing solar charged 12 volt bolt lifts and lighting. As I was planning on putting electricity down there. And <clears throat> near the lake and uh, I guess I'm not going to do that now. Most of these were situations where people were just going merrily along their way and suddenly something catastrophic happens. You never think in a moment, you know, it could all change. Bill Hudson, WCCO, 4 News. There are a lot of ways you can re prevent ESD from becoming a danger this summer. It begins with having a licensed electrician inspect any circuits that are leading to your shoreline. We have many more helpful hints and information posted at WCCO.com slash links.